It's Funny Fun Fucking Fact Friday on Sean Strife. And we had so much fun with our special guest last time that he was here. I thought, what the hell? Let's do it again. We got Drop D Dylan Young letters from Social Strife here. What's up? I'm so, back. So stay tuned because we got a lot of shit to talk about. Get a job, be a slave, pay your taxes. What the fuck? And we are back. Now, before we get started, I would like to state that all facts shared on Sean Strife have been rigorously glanced over quickly by our professionally not certified fact checker and personal joint roller Julio. Now, Julio has signed a declaration stating that all facts shared on Sean Strife are 5 million percent correct, or this week he will cut off his left testicle. Julio, that's still not necessary, brother. Yeah. Julio further states that not one of these facts shared on Sean Strife would pass any fact checking on Facebook, Twitter, or any of them big cock fuck tech fucks because they are true. So Dylan, you were here a couple of weeks ago, so you know how this shit goes. I'm going to shoot a funny, fun fucking fact out to you. We're going to talk about it. And then you're going to shoot a funny, fun fucking fact back to me. Sound good? Sounds like a fucking plan. All right, let's get started. Did you know that almost 50% of all COVID-19 tests come back false positive? Is that right? You know what that means? That means that the modern flu is way worse than this COVID bullshit. Well, even worse, that means that it says that you have COVID when you really don't have COVID. 50% of the time. Mm -hmm. False positive. That's fine. All right, what do you got for me? I'll tell you what. I was researching the other day, mm -hmm. and I was flabbergasted. You were flabbergasted. Did you know that in North Korea or Cuba, you can't get a Coca-Cola? You can't get a Coca-Cola in North Korea or Cuba? Cuba. Uh, you can't get cocaine in North Korea or Cuba either, so <laughs> it kind of makes sense. Well, <laughs> still, something, sometimes there's nothing better than a Coca-Cola or a Pepsi, and... I can't get my favorite soda there. Yeah. I yeah. ain't going to your goddamn Well, I, I, I'm not uh, planning on going to North Korea anytime <laughs> soon anyways. Unless I go with uh, Dennis Rodman. Isn't that shit? will be fun. That's when you'll find cocaine. I mean, Coca-Cola in North <laughs> Korea. It's when Dennis Rodman goes. All right. Did you know that President, that pardon me, not President-elect Joe Biden once boasted that he enjoyed small children playing with the hair in his legs? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it just speaks for itself. There's actual video of it. He's talking about them putting his hands up and down his legs, watching the hair go up, and he's saying, I really enjoyed it. Not President like <clears throat> Joe Biden. What do you got for me, brother? Jesus, Lord, thunder, and I swear <laughs> the Lord have mercy. <laughs> Did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Did you know what? Come on, give it to me. Did you know that the entire world's population can literally fit into L.A.? How big is that city, man? Like, apparently, apparently, you know, we're not fornicating enough. From what I understand, most of the world's population is already in L.A. <laughs> no, 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 no. Sanctuary city. <laughs> no, dude, that's Beijing. That's, that's where most it. people are. Well, did you know that female penguins actually engage in prostitution? Yeah, 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 yeah. The article further states that female penguins exchange sexual favors with male penguins that aren't their mates in exchange for pebbles they use to build their nest. How do you even know this shit? Dude, I'm like a fountain of absolute useless fucking sexual information. <laughs> Complete. It like dribbles out on me, man. And I collect lots of pebbles. So any of you female penguins out there listening, I got the pebbles. All right, hit me. So. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I got lots of pebbles, man. <laughs> so according to Julio, and after rigorous. Julio. Right, right. After mm -hmm. rigorous research on my part and Julio's part. Yeah. We figured out that 2019 and 2020 has been the absolute most highest spike in twin babies ever. In twin babies? Yeah. So. Either Is that one, because there's a lot of incest? That sounds kind of weird, man. No, That's not no. a funny, fun fucking fact. That's Let, a funny, listen, fucking, listen. weird fucking fact. There's, o there's only two reasons for it. Mm. Either COVID makes two babies out of one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, COVID mutated babies. Yeah! We didn't fucking realize that shit, man. Or oh. 
people are just double fucking. No, I could see that there's a lot of double fucking. <laughs> yeah. A lot of double dipping. <laughs> Two scoops of double dipping. <laughs> Did you know that Barack Obama says that he led a scandal-free administration and he is, in fact, so full of shit that his eyes are brown? Yeah. <laughs> Julio has been gracious enough to compile a very small list of Barack Obama's supposed non-scandals. We've got Fast and Furious, where he gave guns to Mexican cartels. We've got Obamagate, where he wiretapped and spied on the Trump campaign. We've got Iran Gate, where he gave the Iranian government, the Iranian government, think about this for a minute, the tyrannical fucking Iranian government, billions of dollars because they promised to be good. Because <laughs> that always works, right? You, know, you be good. I'll give you money, <laughs> right? Oh. Not just that. We're talking, we got Benghazi, the veteran affairs scandal, his deathless scandal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy had a deathless scandal. His drone fucking assassinations. Oh, boy. And the list goes on and on. Julio, did I miss anything? Yeah. What? what? Hang on. What? What? His wife has a what? His wife has a cock. Julio, don't make fun of Big Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Hit me, brother. So, you, you know the most the most hilarious thing that I read today. Mm, besides uh, Barack Obama's um, so, <laughs> big so, mic. <laughs> so let me let me put it this way: people have been trying to kill political figures for years and years and years. Yeah, for a little while. Did you actually know that the hottest pepper in the world, a Carolina Reaper, can actually cause respiratory distress and actually stop the heart? So basically, if you don't like Trump. Or if you don't like Joe Biden, give Cheeto a pepper. Give him a pepper. <laughs> it's non-traceable. I'm getting the Secret Service called on me for yeah, that dude, one. For <laughs> real, Did you know that you are five million times more likely to get sniffed by a creepy, sleepy Joe Biden than you are to die of COVID-19? Yeah, Julio, it's a fucking fact. Julio says that is five million percent correct. Hey, dude, I can see, I can see anybody getting sniffed by Creepy Joe before they get this fake. Pretty thing. much anybody, but he has age requirements. As he's, it's, you know, thirteen and under. Creepy, sleepy Joe Biden hit me. So, you you want to know what was really funny? No. Did you know? <laughs> Tell me you, something that was really sad. Did you know that? On record, and you can look this up because Julio has smoked about 50,000 joints and yes. he told me this fact. Yes. And you know what? Not only do I believe him. And he is professionally not certified. I believe everything yeah, Julio has Yeah, he's professionally not All certified. Right, hit me with it. Did you know that the most vacation place in North America has been France? Really? Now, I don't know if it's either the croissants or just the fact that when you're in France, you can get laid anywhere. Huh. That's interesting. I'd go for the croissants, though. Yeah, probably croissants. No. Speaking of France, this one's kind of the opposite, because in France, everybody's hairy, right? But did you know that shaving your pubes makes you more likely to spread or get a sexually transmitted infection? Hmm. Did you know that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It says here that the pubic hair are basically sort of a sexual goalie that stops most of the dirty shots from coming in. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Hit me. Did you know the most densely populated country is an island only spanning about 500 kilometers somewhere in the South Atlantic? Really? What's this country's name? Um, I guess it's called fucking. Called fucking? Because <laughs> uh, it's the most densely populated. <laughs> that's right. I have no idea what this country is called. All I know is that they have the most people per capita in wow. a square kilometer or mile radius. So it's probably which means, a really stinky place. Well, I think they're just a bunch of rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that Kamala Harris had to be forced by court order to release evidence that would have freed a black man, Kevin Cooper, from death row? Can you imagine? No. Yeah, yeah. When 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 not president vice president elect Kamala Harris was a prosecutor, she didn't want to stain her record when she knew for a fact that Kevin Cooper was not responsible for the crime that he was on death row for. Oh, so really? she blocked the evidence so she wouldn't look like she lost. <laughs> Hit me! So a lot of people know about the Canary Islands. The Canary Islands? Yes. Oh, I thought you said the Canary Islands. Whatever, it's my Lord Tunner and Jesus. Who <laughs> there, Lord boy. Same place. Yeah, same place. But did you know that most people think 
that those islands are actually named after birds, when in fact they're actually named after the sweetest puppy dogs. Really? Yeah, that's interesting. I don't know about you, but I like dogs better than birds. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure about canaries because they sing all the time, right? Well, yeah, yeah, put the canary in the cage <laughs> unless you can sing. That's it. Did you know that male Antifa members are five million times more likely to be raped by a chicken than they are to die of COVID-19? Did you know that? That's an actual, that is an actual fact. Julio went on an expedition one day and brought a bunch of chickens with him and uh, he scientifically figured that shit out. Now, the Antifa members were released relatively unharmed. <laughs> Hit me! So you want to know what's really funny about Indonesia? Mm. I don't know whether they're on steroids or whether that tiger bomb stuff that they use <laughs> is just amazing. But did you know that out of all the world's strongest and heaviest weightlifting records, Indonesia holds a record of 61 world-breaking weightlifting and strongest people on this planet. I had no idea. Yeah, apparently they're on steroids without even doing steroids. Wow. Indonesia. Yeah. So don't piss off an Indonesian woman. Yeah, they're the strongest people on this planet. Wow. Mm -hmm. Did you know that not president-elect Joe Biden does become president of these United States of America? His first act will be completely locked down the United States for a disease that has a 99.6% chance of recovery. Wow. Yeah, that's what he actually said. First thing he's going to do is lock that shit down, man. Wow. Yep, yep. Socialism. You vote that shit in, but you got to fire it to get the fuck out. That's right. Hit me. So you want to know what's something crazy? Most people are worried about climate change mm. and everybody's willing to get around climate change and save the planet and this and yeah. that and the other. So <clears throat> the Paris Agreement on Climate Change was number one, the most profitable bill by any government in the world ever. And also they had the most countries sign off in the UN mm -hmm. for this climate change. And you wanna know why? Not because they cared about our planet, but because they could tax us, yeah, exactly. the working man, and make that money. Yep. How yep. messed up Carbon is that? Carbon taxes, yeah. Trump was good when he boot fucked that out of the stratosphere. My, my biggest problem with climate change is, is if we run out of trees, we're gonna run out of rolling paper. <laughs> did you know that Jeffrey Epstein did not kill himself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently what really happened was is he slipped, tripped, fell on his dick, bumped his head into the bars, broke his nose, and the bone from his nose lodged into the back of his cranium, which caused him to bleed out through his toes. No, 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 dude, dude, yeah, dude. Yeah, no, no, no. Haven't, That's, haven't, you, really haven't, haven't, you, haven't you seen right Tiger King? Haven't you seen Tiger King? Mm. Carol Baskin fed him to his tiger. Well, that was after they had to dispose the body. <laughs> no, that, that's not a conspiracy theory. We fucking Carol Baskin. Uh, she actually did that. They helped uh, get rid of the body. Hit me, brother. Did you know the world's most quietest room is at Microsoft headquarters in Washington, D.C.? Really? So basically, we got a bunch of pencil pushing white collared friggity frack amandas over there stuck in a quiet room and yeah <laughs> they're the big chamber the funny thing is is they are the biggest keyboard warrior soy boy motherfuckers that you'll ever see in the yeah, world yeah, yeah, yeah. but they're so quiet face to face <laughs> like grow some kanikis please you know oh. did you know that the operating system used for the domino pardon me dominion voting tabulation in the u.s 2020 elections is also the same operating system that was used in the venezuelan elections that led to socialism apparently hugo chavez uh whatever the fuck that guy's name is used this shit too it's good stuff and did you also know that the executive officers of the Dominion voting machines were asked to speak before a Senate hearing, but they all just magically disappeared? <laughs> wow. Dude, they closed all their offices down, their social media accounts, their LinkedIn accounts. They just poof, disappeared. They even had an office right here in Toronto, which shared space with George Soros held companies. Now that's some fucking interesting shit, man. Domino voting systems. Dominion, pardon me, Domino. <laughs> I smoked way too much marijuana before we did this. Hit me with something, brother. So Canada and the U.S. are doing some really cool research on a certain type of medicine that has been illegal for about 150 years. Ever since 
or drug laws came into effect. Mm -hmm. Did you know that you hear about um, everybody dying off of Xanax and Clonazepam and all these anti-anxiety yep. and anti-depression medications? Nothing tests higher, and this is in the 95 percentile or more, than magic mushrooms. Magic wow. mushrooms are literally, because they inject serotonin and dopamine yeah, into yeah, your Yeah, 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 no, body, it makes sense. They have cured anxiety and depression. Think about that. So the government is suppressing it because they don't know how to tax it <laughs> or price yeah, like, it. Yeah, 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 or sell it, sell it like a pharmacy. Exactly. That's funny. I got one. Did you know that I once took, uh, what, three grams of mushrooms before we did a gig? And forgot the entire show. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Big shout out to my man, Steve. Thanks, buddy. I can't remember that night at all. <laughs> Did you know that it has been proven in the hospitals in North America that are given between fourteen dollars to $15,000 for every death that they mark as COVID-19? I knew that. Did you know that? Yeah. It's even weirder, man. If you were to die on a roller coaster ferry wheel collision... It would still be marked as a COVID-19 death. <laughs> no way. So I got one for you. Did you know mm. that no matter how much you ask a has ask an officer <laughs> if I can talk English, no matter how much you ask an officer, they will deny that they have quotas. But mm -hmm. from the start of COVID-19 to now, officers have been getting promoted and been being pushed to do arrests on COVID because it's mm -hmm. super easy and they do not need to prove it and they still fill their quota yep. at the end of the yep. day. Yep. No, there's no question. From what I understand in Toronto alone, they've hired 50 more COVID enforcement officers. Not just that, these people now have authority to actually knock on your door to see how many people you got in your house. Did you know that new members of Antifa are required to place exactly 1,001 grains of sand into the Vaseline that they use before they play hide the monkey with the rest of the Antifa soy boys? Now, what I found particularly interesting is, is that it was exactly 1,001 grains of sand into the Vaseline that they used to play hide the monkey with the other boys. Uh, why not? You know, 1,005 or six. I just, it's the one thing I don't understand about anti. Well, at least they stand out. Well, this has been Funny Fun Fucking Fact Friday on Sean Strife. I'd like to thank our special guest, Drop D, Dylan Young Letters from Social Strife for being here. And a big shout out to Julio, our professionally not certified fact checker and personal joint roller. And join us again next time where we'll talk about more shit that will make a snowflake melt. Now hit that like button, tickle that notification bell. And you got to grab your hammers and your axes because you got to smash that subscribe button. Roar. That's right. You heard me. I said smash that subscribe channel.